My wife's family backed me up when they found out she. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. When I was married, I tried to make it work. My ex will have a different story, of course, but my conscience is clean. I worked my ass off so we could get out of debt, I was there for her brother and sister when stepdad would go on a bender and hulk out when his frustrations got the best of him, I never hit her, and I never cheated on her. I really, truly tried to make it work. My ex had cheated on me once before, but I sincerely believe that people can change if they really want to. She was profusely and abjectly sorry, and promised to never do it again. I took her apology at face value, and life went on. I never brought it up again, not even in our worst arguments. But, having been burned, I remained vigilant. We had moved in with her mom to help out with her family's medical bills but moved out when those were under control and we were finally able to get ahead just a little. We had a little bit of disposable income, and a little bit more free time for ourselves. Four years into our marriage, I noticed that she was going out a lot with friends. Work was demanding more of her time. She was coming home later and later. She was skipping out on eating our meals together. Classic signs. I finally confronted her. One day, she told me she was going out with friends. Again. I said it was fine. When her friends came to pick her up, I told her I wanted to meet them. Oh, we have to be somewhere at this time and we'll just make it if we leave now. I consider myself pretty laid back, but I took a hard line this time. You're not going anywhere until I meet them. She knows she's caught. She goes out the door and comes back with one guy. My heart rate shoots up, and I try to keep my rage under control. My dad was an old school soldier, and he taught us discipline. You learn discipline real fast when screwing up means you get the belt. I have both of them sit down, she can't even look at me. I straight up ask, are you her boyfriend? Is she your girlfriend? Guy has a smirk sneer on his face. What do you think? You know that saying seeing red? It's true. I saw red. I wanted to get my machete and go to town. But, discipline. You are better than they are. I control my breathing, take a deep cleansing breath. My voice is shaky. I point to her. You, woman, if this is how you treat our marriage, then I want nothing to do with you. I point to the guy. You. If she can do this to her husband, guess what she's going to do to you? I point to the door. Both of you may now leave. The guy drops the smirk off his face because he sees something in mine and both get up and scramble for the door. Right before it shuts I can hear her yelling at him about how close he came to dying. I hear the car peel out a few seconds later. I lock the door and collapse down against it. That night, she called me up. She's getting her stuff and getting the foe of my life. I'm still messed up, so I say yes. I tell her I'll even stay out while she does this. Fine, she says. The next day, I go out and do stuff. Then I go do more stuff just to do stuff. When I get home, she's taken her stuff. She's also taken a shit tons worth of my stuff. Stuff that was sentimental to me but not to her, just to deny me that little bit more happiness. That's not right, that's just rubbing it in with a rake. I'm stone cold sober now, and I begin to plan. It takes a week, but end result, I take her car. First person I called immediately after I got home was her mom. I told Mill that we, her daughter and I, couldn't be together anymore. Mill tries to get more information, but I tell her to get it from her daughter and call me if she needs any more details. Mill is cussing up a storm, not directed at me, when I hang up. A couple of days later, I got a call from her brother who is 6 feet 1 inch and built like a brick shithouse. This is the guy who told me that if I ever hurt his little sister he would melt my dead body in acid so no one would ever find it. Bro, I'm sorry about what happened. If you need anything, just call. My mill has 10 siblings. She told all of them, and all of them were solidly behind me. Even the psycho aunt that nobody else in the family talked to. Her cousins, nieces, and nephews called me up to offer support. It was immensely gratifying. Karma, about a year later, I heard through a friend that BF got her pregnant then dumped her. A year after that, heard she was pregnant again from a different guy who also dumped her. Here is the second story. My friend deliberately planned for his girlfriend's mother to be mad at her. This is about one of my college buddies pro revenge on his cheating girlfriend of two years. He found out that she was cheating on him and he was literally crying in his car for a few days, he was planning on marriage and kids and the white picket fence with her. He didn't tell her he knew, 
he told her that he was going to his parents' house for a few days to help them with some repairs. Instead he hung out with us and cried, literally cried in front of his buddies, for a couple of days, we helped him get out of it. He sobered up and told us how he was going to destroy her and I didn't even understand it at the time. But he was headed to a famous law school and was thinking way ahead of us. He drove to his girlfriend's mother's house, over an hour outside of town, with her items from his apartment nicely boxed up, and said he wanted to leave them with her for, GF. GF's mom and him had met several times, he had gone to their Thanksgiving, etc. GF's mom was like, okay, but why? Not suspecting anything was wrong. And he said something brief like, I don't think we'll be seeing each other again, but I needed to get this box back to her. But thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm sorry it didn't work out. GF's mom is stunned and tries to ask why and what and everything but my friend just starts crying, I don't think intentionally, and runs off and drives away. He never broke up with the GF, never even contacted her, she heard about it from her mom, who called her immediately, and he received confused and angry texts from the now ex on his drive home. A little while later, at least a couple of weeks, he gets an email from the GF's mom, I don't remember the specifics, but it was not I apologize for my daughter but more like I hope you find a woman who loves you unconditionally or something to that effect. He responded with something like thanks, your note means a lot to me, nothing negative. Dude is now an up-and-coming lawyer, and still gets texts from the ex saying that she constantly hears from her mom how she ruined it with the one good guy she had and how she doesn't deserve to be happy. Friend has never responded to one text, and blocked her from FB. Of course, this was all 100% planned, my friend wanted the hurt to come from someone who would stay in his ex's life, not from someone who would be quickly forgotten. He deliberately created a rift in the closest relationship that two women can have. And all in a friendly 60-second conversation with no harsh words or accusations. Here is the third story. My wife lied to her parents that I was cheating, now they disowned her. Me and my then-wife were married for about three years at that point. She came from a very conservative Christian family. Her parents never liked me because 1, I wasn't religious and 2, I'm a Democrat. They tried their best to convince her not to marry me, but to no avail. Looking back I wish they had convinced her to not marry me. At some point during the marriage my wife began to withdraw sexually. We went from having sex 3 times a week to 3 times a month to once a month. She told me that she didn't really like having sex that much and that she did it mostly to please me. What I didn't know was that she didn't want to have that much sex with me because she was getting her dick elsewhere. How did I find out? Well my wife was using my laptop, her laptop was being repaired, and accidentally clicked the remember me box on her email. I went to check my email and it was redirected to hers. I saw every message she sent to this guy and basically confirmed that she was cheating on me. Like any sane person who realizes their marriage is over, I filed for divorce. Also I alerted the other man's GF and she promptly dumped him. Now, like I stated before, her parents never really liked me. When they found out I was divorcing her, they went ballistic. Apparently she lied to them and said that I cheated on her. I kept getting hateful emails from them every other week. After our divorce was final, I told her parents that she cheated on me and sent them proof. Her dad emailed me saying he was sorry and that he's disappointed in his daughter. All I replied with was well now you know what kind of person your daughter is. Never contact me again. Neither of them have contacted me since. About a year after our divorce I got a long email from my ex with the subject as thanks. I thought it would be some sort of thank you letter but it was far from that. Some of it read like this. Thanks for making my parents hate me thanks for driving me to cheat on you thanks for ruining my life. That was the last I ever heard of her. Her parents disowned her and she was the shame of the small town she came from. According to Facebook she now lives in Australia, but considering she hasn't posted anything in three years, I might be wrong. Also, remember the GF of the guy my wife was cheating on me with? That woman is now my fiancé. I. Win. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.